Good morning, Quad Copter 101 here. And what I got for you today is a review of the Zhang Yu X I A N G Y U X Y 017 H W. Now you can tell by my phone here again, this is another Wi Fi FPV fire, but this one is actually kind of neat. I think it is a very good looking design uh, with a swivelable, it can swivel up or down, uh, 720p HD camera. Um, of course, it's Wi Fi FPV since I got my phone attached here. It does have altitude hold. Um, as you can tell there by the centered stick. But let's go over the quadcopter itself. The quadcopter is another folding quadcopter. Let's show it in its folded, folded state first, and then we'll open it up. Um, it's simple to unfold. You just move the arms out or in. They move out. There's no button to press. You know, they're just held in place by friction. So let's move them out and show you this. It has an on-off switch on the belly. There is a DV or S d card slot on the belly they were planning i guess at one time to make this recordable with a v dvr but do not put a sd card in there because if you do it will shut off the wi-fi and i guarantee it does not record i've tried every every means possible to get it to record to that sd card uh, but it does not record to the sd card even though it has an sd card slot i think they're planning to do it uh, in, in fact even on the controller itself it has a uh, start stop button uh, for video and photos, but those are inoperative also. The only way you can record with this is through the app, so just keep that in mind, folks. Again, the camera can swivel about, uh, I'd say about 45 degrees down to about 5 degrees up. I'm going to leave it level for now uh, for this flight. It does come with a um, 900 milliamp hour battery, and that's a pretty big battery. It's supposed to give this thing 10 minutes of flight time. It's proprietary, but you don't need to use a proprietary battery to fly this in that. Let me show you. You can use standard JST. It's a red JST connector. You just plug in a, this one here. The size of this one here is uh, 25 uh, millimeters in width and 9 millimeters in thickness. And you can find anything around that size. And they will fit in there like so. And then you just slide the battery in if you want to use standard they do work, is what I'm trying to say, folks. There's a lot of room in there for standard JST batteries. So, in fact, I just might fly with one of these if my battery goes out early. So, let's put the, the standard battery back in, though. And uh, that is about it. That's the quadcopter. Let's go over the controller. It actually has a very nice-looking controller. Feels good. All of the buttons that you need to know are labeled out well. Um, this is for the LEDs. You can turn the lights on or off. This does have very bright LEDs for night flying, by the way. Headless mode is activated by this button here. Rates are activated by pressing this button here, speed. And you can do flips, but if you press this button here and tell it which direction to flip, it will flip. The on-off switch is right there. Emergency stop switch is right there in case you crash into a tree. Hold that down for three seconds. Shut down the motors to prevent uh, the motors from burning out. Automatic takeoff and automatic landing is there, but you have to start the motors first by bringing the sticks down and out And then you press the automatic takeoff and then it will take off um, Again these video and photo buttons are inoperative. They do not work and uh, One key return is that button there. It does not, now keep in mind. This is not a GPS quadcopter So pressing this button here will just fly the exact opposite direction the quadcopter was pointed when it took off That's what one key return does folks keep that in mind so, let's go for a flight of this thing. Is there anything I forgot? I probably did forget something, but I'll bring it up when we're flying. And I uh, hope you enjoy this flight. Let's get to it. First thing is we're going to turn on the on-off switch. Quadcopter is on. And I am going to arm the, the transmitter and arm the quadcopter by up and down. And bringing the sticks down and out. And doing an automatic takeoff. And then turning off the transmitter. 1001, 1002, 1003, 1004, 1005. So we know it'll do an automatic landing within five seconds, about five seconds. We don't have to worry about flyaway. Always do those tests when you get a new quadcopter if you can remember. <laughs> Sometimes I forget. Okay, rebinding. And let's open up the app for this and go into uh, FPV flight. Okay, this is the Wi-Fi UFO app available on Google Play and iTunes. Very important. Hit that settings button before you even go into the main app. And make sure that you are set to preview 720p. If you, set, if you turn, have this turned off, 
If it's not green, turn it back on, folks. Otherwise, when you record HD video from the quadcopter, it will be low resolution. So make sure that you have this set to 720p. Okay. And I press that button there to get back. Now let's hit play. And we should have FPV signal, and we do. Okay, so I am going to start recording this. And we are going to take to the air right now and try out its camera. Okay, starting the quadcopter's motors. Automatic takeoff. And first off, let's go down the field a bit and go up a little bit higher. See how the Wi-Fi signal is with range. Okay, about about 10, 10 meters, going a little further. Still got starting to get a little choppy there, about 15, 20 meters. Going out a little further, over by the birds there. I still got signal, folks. Still got. It's okay. It's getting choppy now, and. I'm losing signal from the transmitter and it's appears to be at maximum part of its range. It's trying to land itself. I'm going to pull back. Okay. So that is the range of this transmitter uh, with the transmitter attached. It looks about uh, 70 meters or so. I'm going to go out and see if we can reconnect. Walking toward it. It landed itself when it went out of range of the transmitter. I'm not sure if I still got FPV signal. We'll find out here shortly. Let's see if I can take to the air yet. Sticks down and out. Automatic takeoff. Not yet. Walking toward those birds. Sticks down and out. Automatic takeoff. Not yet. <laughs> Getting closer. So we know what it will do. Okay, it's working now. Those birds took off. Sticks down and out. Okay, we got signal again. Now, was that me or was that the quadcopter that caused that sig drop? Well, the quadcopter's flying now. Let me trim it up a bit, a little bit to the left. Let's go up and try out its camera. Taking a look around the area. So we know it'll automatically land. That's good. With lots of signal from the transmitter. And that's the camera from up high. And bringing it down low. Reducing throttle. Now that wasn't very far. Well, yeah, 80 meters is pretty far. But uh, I did seem to have signal. But I, I brought my Wi-Fi repeater with me today, folks. And what I'm saying is I'm going to try my Wi-Fi repeater out in a bit. Okay, first let's go to a higher rate now. Does it have a third rate? Yes, I guess it does. Let's see how it flies. Seems to fly very well. Where's that flip button? <laughs> Actually, it flies not not too shabby. Let's go back to second rate because that seems a little more stable. It lights off. Let's try the second rate and try some acrobatics in second rate. There's its funnels in second rate. Coming around. How about a longitudinal roll? Yeah. Bringing it down lower. Trying that low. Not too bad. Not too bad at all. Okay. Let's bring it over here. And what I want to do next is the usual here first off i haven't done something first for my viewers bring it in closer got a wide angle lens on it how do you like my shirt today folks <laughs> 
wide angle lens. So that's good for FPV flying. Let's see if I can actually do FPV flying with it. I'm going to try to go between the trees here, just looking at the signal. A little bit of lag, a little bit of lag coming to the left. Still looking at the signal. Now can I bring it back? Pushing forward. Flying FPV. Yeah, it kind of works. So actually not too bad. A little bit laggy on its signal. Okay, so we know that this controller seems to be the limit of the FPV. Um, there's the wind blowing it by me. So let's try flying this now with the uh, repeater, Wi-Fi repeater. Let me get a thumbnail first of this thing, showing you it hovering. Let me adjust its trim to the left, left adjust its trim backwards. Now, its blue light is blinking like it's recording to an SD card, but there is no SD card slot in there. So, but let's uh, hit stop recording and let's land it and let's try using this with a repeater. So, what, landing it, automatic landing. I'm going to hook up a repeater. Okay, uh, I rebooted the quadcopter and uh, reconnected to its signal and uh, it should be connected to Wi-Fi UFO. We're going to open that up and then we're going to hit on for on control and we're going to use altitude hold and make sure mob is in is recording. It is recording and it should start the motors and then take off. So I had to restart the quadcopter to get control back. Let's see what type of range I can get with the phone alone. Let's make sure I got control. I'm flying using the virtual joysticks, bringing it back. We've got a bit of a wind here. I'm going to have to go to higher rate, 60. Okay, I seem to be close to the edge of the range right there. I'm going to stay close to the ground. I still got control? Just barely. <laughs> But I do have control. It's out there about uh, 50 meters. So we're going to let it float, let it float until it lands. Coming down a little lower too. Okay, it's getting out there. I still got control. I still got control all the way to the edge of the field, folks, actually. I am kind of surprised how much... I got better control than I did with the... Uh, using the controller alone. Exceptional range. With that in mind, let's go out into the dirt field then. Pushing forward. Because the wind's blowing from that direction. So, we'll go upwind. And fly up the dirt field here. See if we can go to the edge of its range. And as, uh, if we reach the edge of its range, it should blow back. Oh, better stop. Pretty far out there, folks. And I still got Wi-Fi signal. This has exceptional range with the uh, Wi-Fi alone. Just using Wi-Fi alone. I'm actually kind of surprised. Just using my phone. You get further range than you get with the controller. Just surprising. Okay. Okay, I lost control. It lost signal right there. Maybe its battery is low. <laughs> Let's find out. Unfortunately, I wasn't recording that whole flight. So, now we're going to turn on the repeater, folks. And I am going to put the repeater up here, up on the hill. Yeah, it looks like uh, we're low on battery. We didn't get full 10 minutes. <laughs> but fortunately, I got, I have another battery. We're going to try that repeater flight. We're going to put the repeater up here on the hill 
and just fly it around the area. So I hope you like the third part of this flight. Okay, this third part of the flight, we're going to fly with a repeater. And see what kind of ranges we get with the repeater attached or uh, hooked in. But to do such, we need to plug in this 9 volt or this 3.7 volt battery uh, with J Red JST connector in there. Again, you can use just about any single cell Red JST connector type battery and it will work with this quadcopter. Just slide it in there. And we have it turned on, putting it down. And on top of that, the next thing we do is attach this repeater. And what I'm looking for is for a blue light to appear. Okay, and it's kind of hard to see in the sunlight. Take my glasses off. And we have blue light. I don't know if you can see that or not, folks. Right there. So this is connected. And it is connected to the quadcopter. The quadcopter signal. And I'm going to put it right here. Plop it up right about there. Whichever way it will hold best. And moving its antenna like so. It wants to plop itself like that. I'll let it. As long as its antenna is vertical, and there we go. Next thing, I need to connect my phone to the repeater. And I'm going to do that. And there's the repeater. It's the one that says plus, doing such. And we're connected to the repeater. And I'm going to move away from the repeater don't need to be right by it and I am going to open up Wi-Fi UFO and starting Mobazin three two one and we should be connected that's Wi-Fi UFO in play we are connected so this is connected to the repeater the repeater is connected to the quadcopter and hitting record and taking control of the quadcopter and turning on altitude hold and going 60% uh, because we got wind today and hitting takeoff. Giving throttle and pushing out. Now I'm not going to go real high. But I want to see. Okay, let's go up wind actually. The wind's coming from my right right now. Pushing forward. Going into the wind. I want to see if this first reduces lag. And second, do we actually get improved range? Well, I really can't test its range fully, you know, going out 300 meters or so. But I'm hoping that the lag is showing up is greatly reduced. Going into the wind, and going downwind. I'm at the other end of the field. Going down that way. I got very good range actually with this phone trying to come back toward me turning to the right turning to the right coming back going up higher and let's go since I got this on a hill over here I should be able to go down the other end of that field too Well, standing over here, if I could fight the wind, <laughs> don't you know when I want to do this, you get a breezy day. We'll go up a bit higher. That repeater works real well for. Whoa! Crashed. Okay, emergency stop. I had signal all the way into the ground. Uh, maybe that battery is dead. <laughs> we'll find out. If the lights are blinking, that battery died. But the repeater was working with it really well. Keep in mind, this is only a 600 milliamp hour battery, not the 900 milliamp hour battery that comes with it. And I'm not sure I fully charged it either before this flight. Boy, the grass is marshy today. They just watered it. Ah, 
let's see here. No. It's not rapid blinking, it's slow blinking. And Wi-Fi UFO has stopped, that's why it's lost Wi-Fi UFO. So stopping mob is in. Let's see. Close. Okay, we still have the signal from the uh, repeater, which means the repeater is still connected to the quadcopter. So let's go back and op reopen up Wi-Fi UFO app. And starting mob is in again. Now remember, I'm not connected to this quadcopter. I'm connected to the repeater. Let's see if we have signal. We do have signal, folks. So it's ready to go. Okay, and I want to control it via uh, altitude hold. Turning on the video again. Starting the motors, taking off. Remember, I'm not connected to the quadcopter. I am connected to the repeater. So my signal is going to the repeater and the repeater is going down here to the quadcopter. So I can walk, can walk down here to the end of the field with this quadcopter. <laughs> Keep in mind the actual control range is double from the repeater back to me, <laughs> back to the quadcopter. So I'm, this signal's not going straight to the quadcopter. So the range right now is about, uh, with the repeater, I can walk down with it. And Wi-Fi UFO stopped again. Gosh darn it. Okay, stopping mob is in. Stopping mob is in. Let's see if we are still connected. We're still connected, folks. So uh, let's open up, reopen up Wi-Fi UFO. Starting mob is in again. And hitting play again. And record, control, 60%, altitude hold, take off, throttle. And Wi-Fi UFO has stopped again. So, one of the issues, <laughs> Wi-Fi UFO seems to stop a lot on this quadcopter. Uh, it might not be the quadcopter's fault. It might be Wi-Fi UFO. Okay, let me try it one more time. Stopping Mobazin. Opening Wi-Fi UFO. Starting Mobazin again. It might be uh, Wi-Fi UFO, and it might be that my mob is in use here. But I want you guys to see what I'm seeing, so. And altitude hold, 60% on. Take off, throttle. We'll just let the wind blow it. So right now, I'm getting signal. Keep This signal is about 100 meters times two, 200 meters. <laughs> So because keep in mind that quadcopter's signal is going to the repeater and then it's coming back to me. So this is about 200 meters of control range. Do I still got control? Yeah, I do. 200 meters. That's not bad. Going to the repeater and back. You know, I'm not, you know, this is not controlling the quadcopter directly. This is controlling the quadcopter through the repeater. Let's get away from that mud. So let's go back to the repeater from here. And the range is reducing because it's going to the repeater, keep it by. <laughs> That's not bad. That's pretty damn cool. Let's fly it to the other end of the field if I can. The other field. I'm still in the green field over here. Taking it upwind. Going by the repeater and I think my battery is getting weak. God, it's mushy over here. I'm walking through like a swamp. Which way is that wind blowing? I'm trying to pull it back now. Pulling it back. Come back, come back. There it 
is a lost sight of it. <laughs> so, pretty neat idea. This one works well with the uh, repeater. It gets you at least 200 meters range. <laughs> that was an interesting way to test it. Just walk with it <laughs> and see how far it'll go. Let's go the other way. <laughs> you can stand by it and test its range. Because again, it's going through the repeater. So let's go down this way. See how far I can go and still maintain control of the quadcopter. Oh, that battery's done. There we go. So, we know we got at least 200 meters range with the repeater. So that's the end of that battery. So that's the XY017HW. Did an initial review flight, works rather well. I hope its video comes out nicely. Let's, let's stop that video recording there that we just got. And stopping mob is in two. And I was able to fly it on somewhat breezy day today. Come on, mob is in close. Stop. I was able to fly it on a somewhat breezy day. Um, I was able to fly it with a repeater. I followed it all the way to the other end of the field over there which is 100 meters down and then keep in mind it was going through the repeater so my signal went to the repeater to the quadcopter so that was 200 meters range at least we know that can go 200 meters range with a repeater so i hope you enjoyed this flight this is quadcopter 101 signing out